Hi everyone! Now that you've learned about Wayne Tivo, we are going to create some artwork inspired by him. We are going to create four sweet treats, four desserts on our drawing an ice cream cone, a donut, a cupcake, and a lollipop. To start, I want you to use a pencil just in case you need to erase. I'm going to be using a black marker in the video just because it's easier for you to see. The first thing we do is always the same. We take out our pencil and we write our name. Go ahead and write your name on the back of your paper now and then flip it over. Next, we're going to split our paper into four sections, four rectangles. So first you're going to draw a line straight down the middle. It does not have to be perfect. You do not need to use a ruler. Just draw a line straight down near the middle. Then you're going to do a horizontal line straight through the middle again. So it should look like a big plus reaching the edges of your paper. Choose any box to start in. It does not matter which one. We're going to start with a donut. Start by drawing a big circle that almost touches the edges of your section. A big circle. Next, draw a tiny little circle in the middle for the donut's hole. Now to make the frosting, we're going to do a wavy line. A wavy line along the edge of our circle. See how I'm following the first circle that I drew? with my wavy line. That makes our frosting. Next, you can add tiny little rectangles or any shape for sprinkles. I'm using tiny little rectangles and then I'm adding little dots for sprinkles as well. You can add sprinkles if you want or you don't have to. It's totally up to you. I'll give you a few seconds to finish drawing your donut just in case you need a little bit to catch up. All right, for our next drawing, we're actually going to be turning our paper. So turn your paper so that it's vertical up and down. This will give us more room to fit our ice cream cone and our lollipop. But let's start with the ice cream cone. First step is to draw a curved line, like a rainbow line or an upside down U. Next, we're going to make a, another tinier curved line that comes out from the side. It kind of sticks out. Then you're going to go bump, 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 bump bump all the way across and have it stick out the other side as well. This gives us our ice cream scoop. Now to draw the cone, it's just two diagonal lines like the letter V that connects to our ice cream scoop. If you want to add lines for detail in the ice cream cone, you can, but you don't have to. If you want to add anything extra to your ice cream cone, like a cherry or maybe a squiggly line for some hot fudge on the top, that's totally up to you. You can also add sprinkles if you want to. This is your drawing. You're the artist. You get to decide. Now we're going to move on to our third drawing. Remember, it doesn't matter which boxes you put these in. We're going to draw a circle. This is going to be the top of our lollipop. A big circle, but leave room for a very long straight line underneath. Then draw a little line sticking out to the side. And then another very long straight line connecting back up to our lollipop for the stick. Like a very long skinny rectangle. If you want inside your lollipop, you can make a swirl line going around and around and around till you get to the middle. This will give you a spiral or a swirl in the middle of your lollipop. 
In your last box, we're gonna draw a cupcake. Draw a straight horizontal line, not too big, just a small one. Then we're gonna draw two diagonal lines coming out of the sides. One going out and the other going out the other way. Two diagonal lines. This is gonna be our cupcake's bottom or the wrapper. We're gonna make a zigzag line to show that wrapper, connecting our two diagonal lines. If you want to add details to the wrapper, like stripes or polka dots or anything like that, you can. Now for the top of our cupcake, there's a few different ways you can do it. You can make a bumpy line, you can make a straight, like a curved line. I'm going to do a bumpy line all the way over, kind of like a cloud for our cupcake's icing. Then you can add sprinkles. You can do tiny little ovals, tiny little rectangles, tiny little circles, tiny little hearts or stars or triangles, any shapes that you want your sprinkles to be. Now we are all done drawing. Remember, yours should be in pencil. If you want to trace it with a black marker or a Sharpie, whatever you have, maybe even a different colored marker, you can if you want to, or you can just go straight to coloring. It's your choice. I'm coloring using crayons and markers. You can use whatever is available to you, whatever you have. But take your time, go slow. You'll have the whole class period to finish up. Use your creativity and your imagination. Make sure you're practicing coloring nice and neat. If you finish coloring your four desserts, you can add a background. That does not mean the back of your paper. That means the space around what you just drew. You can add patterns, lines, designs, anything you want to. And if you finish that, you can free draw on the back of your paper. Hope you guys enjoy. Thank you.